God, I need to shave. Um, I just laid the bait. I guess this is like the first official commitment to this whole tattoo idea. I just sent mum a Facebook message laying the bait. <coughs> Still kind of sick too. To try and get her on board for the picture I need in order to get this tattoo. Now, all I've told her is that I've got a really cool photo idea that I want to get um, and I need her help and I just want to do it for her to use as like a, a desktop wallpaper or um, something nice and it, she appears to have bitten it so she's just replying to me now as I'm <laughs> trying to do this video. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know what to say. I, just, I don't even know what to say. I'm so nervous. I'm not even gonna get done now. I'm, I'm just on my way to, this is officially, I guess, the first encounter, meeting, discussion um, to get my tattoo. I'm on my way to the tattoo parlor that I am pretty confident I'm gonna get. Cut, 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 cut. This is not where I end up going for my tattoo. I'm currently wearing my hat ridiculously. As you can see, it was giving me a headache, so I just kind of slapped it on. But I didn't end up going to where I was on my way to that day. I was not comfortable when I went in there. Um, I just, I didn't feel comfortable. For me, that's a big part because it's a big deal. I haven't got any tattoos yet, and I've already been thinking for like two, three months on this idea and trying to like, you know, weigh out the pros and cons, should I, shouldn't I? So I felt like it was important to be comfortable with where I was getting the tattoo done. I have, however, ended up finding another artist who's, I'm gonna tag, he's got my money now, so I kinda have to, at Fryzy underscore tattoo. Fryzy, I don't know, his reason, I think his real name's Ryan, is doing the tattoo, he's very talented, I've seen his work, he's good at the style of artwork that I'm looking to get, so I'm pretty comfortable with using him as the artist. I have to keep my voice down because my old brother's upstairs and he has no idea. Nobody has any idea. It's booked, I've paid the deposit. I'm so nervous and I'm so pumped. I don't think I've told you what I'm getting yet. So I am holding off to tell you until I've got it done. And then I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Or should I tell you now? I feel like I need to give you the story behind it, the inspiration, where it came from. Nah, we'll wait. So basically it's just gonna be all along. Let's get it. <laughs> Today's the day. I gotta quickly rush into work now, get a couple things sorted before I go because it's at 10 a.m. And I have decided to let you in on the DL of what the tattoo is and the location, which is relevant to what I'm trying to do now. I can't get the freaking buttons through these little tiny holes no matter what I do. The tattoo. Now, I got this idea about two or three months ago. We have a family dog, his name's Maximus, and oh, I've almost got the Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's been there for the most transitional point, you would argue, of a man's life, or even a woman's life, uh, going from, you know, he's there when I was 15, I think, 16, and I'm now 23 years old. But more than that, Maximus aside, is my mother. Now, mum is now Max's full-time carer. Max is eight years old, he's a dog de Bordeaux, he's a French Mastiff. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen here. Most of my friends know Maximus, because of my stories and Facebook and Instagram and they would have seen him over the years um, and absolutely adore him like I do. Max has gone through some serious health hurdles. He's basically got problems in his spine. It's leading to nerve damage, it's making him incontinent, which if you don't know what that means, he pees himself and poos himself wherever he feels fit. Uh, so he now wears a diaper. My mum got diapers custom made for Maximus. I will try and get a photo of that and if I do, it'll be here. Uh, Maximus wears diapers. Um, it's hilarious and she puts pads in them and he pees himself inside and she cleans them and then she takes him out at one, two, three, five in the morning to pee because otherwise he gets bladder infection. When he gets bladder infections, he starts peeing blood. There's a lot going on with Max. Now, in terms of his life quality, he's, he loves life. His eyes and his, his head's so full of life, like mentally, but his body is just letting him down. Like, and unfortunately with these French Mastiffs, Doug de Bordeaux, it just happens. They don't get a huge, a terribly long life. We're stoked to have him still. And seeing my mum with Max, being his full-time carer, she medicates him, she gives him custom food, she takes his diapers off and cleans them, takes him to the toilet. 
all the time, all day, every day. And seeing her with Max reminds me of how she would have been as a mother when we were kids because I know that mum has her dogs now as a replacement for not having little kids to look after that don't need her. Like, we still need mum. Like, we still love her, but, you know, we do our own things. We, we wipe our own bums. The dogs are mum's babies now, and seeing her with them just, yeah, reminds me of how caring and how selfless and how good of a job she did as a mother. It wasn't until seeing her with Max as his full-time carer that I was really able to stand back and appreciate, you know, wow, you know, she's, it's quite ridiculous, really, the effort she goes through. And I guess that's just hardwired into her as a mother. And I love her for it. She's been an absolutely amazing mum. I almost just got rear-ended. So, now that I've somewhat told you the story, there's more to it, but I'm not gonna sit here and talk for 25 minutes. I got this idea of having a tattoo of mum and Max, but I didn't want it to be too cliche. So, I got this idea of getting mum holding Max's paw. And then I started Googling people. With, there wasn't many I could find, surprisingly. And I found one that I'll put a picture here. I, I photoshopped it really roughly because I'm a graphic designer. So, and I was pretty happy with like how it looked. So that's where I sort of started getting a little bit more serious about the idea. And the more thought I put into the tattoo, you know, especially the location on my left wrist, I think your wrist is kind of like a spot of vulnerability. You know, you've got your, your lifelines there. You know, everyone knows that. Uh, it's a pretty sensitive, vulnerable spot on a human body. A mother to every man is somewhat of a point of vulnerability. So that was the whole idea behind that. Your mum will always be there to comfort you uh, at your most vulnerable, weakest point. So that was that the inspiration for the, the spot there. Another little funny reason behind getting the tattoo that will always remind me of my mum is like, you know when you hear people say, crazy cat lady? My mum is the crazy dog lady. We've always had dogs in our family growing up. Max is just super special. Um, there's something about him. He's, he's just a ball of love. He's, I've got a list in my phone of other reasons to get, reasons not to get that I've been battling with over the last couple months. And I haven't been able to come up with an awful lot of reasons not to get because I think it's pretty meaningful as it is. How do I, how do I start this? Where do I go? I'm gonna need to get a photo of mum holding Max's paw, a good photo to use as reference when designing the tattoo. I went over to mum's and I, I tricked her a little bit into thinking that I was taking the photo. I might show you that now and show you a little bit of what went on when I was trying to bait my mum to try and hold Max's paw. Yeah, down. Oi. Yeah, I know, you just want Josh to come and say hello. Come here, down. Max. You're not helping. His nails are so long. Hold it like that. All right, down. It doesn't help that you sit on your tail like that either. Right, and try and get on. your fingers underneath his paw on the other side. I could smell that I'm sitting in residual shit when you're on. It's beautiful. Now that right there is officially the still frame that I used to to export and then put into Photoshop and then sit there and break apart into pieces and Photoshopped it on my arm. And that's what this rough Photoshop ended up looking like. That's the tattoo, that's what I'm getting. That's where it's going. I'm pretty pumped, but I'm also pretty nervous. I'm almost at work, gotta get a couple things sorted. I guess I'll see you there. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know how I managed to forget probably the strongest thing I connected with, with this tattoo, is mum's hand, right? Your mum's hands are pretty amazing. Like, you think about what they do. They nurse you, they fed you, they, you know, cleaned you, they smacked you. Sorry, mum. I gotta smack them, but all my brothers did every now and then. And I think it kept us in line. Like, we're pretty, you know, we respect our parents now, and we've got our head screwed on. So, it worked, I guess. Sort of, kind of, mum, good job. I just had to point out. I think your mum's hands, yeah. Okay, right, you got it, okay. Uh, uh. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Damn it. Shit. I'm on my way currently, 11 minutes away. Yeah, so I'd let you know that I'm nervous as shit. That's all.
not losing the hearing or the sight or anything like that. People do that? Yeah. Really? Yeah, probably in the past now, if you feel like that. Pain doesn't bother me as much as the blood does. There's a bit of blood, and I'm like weird with blood, but I like it. Uh, in an hour, just take the glad wrap off. Yeah. Give your tattoo a wash. Ah. First of all, ow. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't believe it. <laughs> oh, God. That's it. It's done. Things to note. First of all, I don't care how tough you are, you will feel it. The first needle, when you see my face, it didn't hurt at all. Like, one needle was like, was fine. But when he switched to the needles for the shading... Now switch to the five needle. Four, is it four? Five needle? Nine. Five needle? Nine. Nine. It's a nine needle gun. Uh, you feel this? The one needle, that was, uh, that was nothing <laughs> compared to this, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I don't care how tough you are, you'll feel this. You will feel... Um, which is not an awful lot compared to what other people use, but you feel that shit. It looks a lot better than what I thought it would. Like, I thought the mock-up was like, yeah, I'll be happy if it looks something like, it looks better. I don't know how, it looks better. I'm I'm honestly stoked. I'm so stoked. I, I just, I love it. I, I actually, I fucking love it. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to show my mum. I'm not allowed to bend my wrist too much, so. <laughs> mum? <gasps> I don't know how she's gonna react. I really don't. I have no idea. I just, I don't, I don't even know. Let's do it. All right, I'm trying to think of a way to get mum to see it without seeing it. So I'm gonna give her flowers. I'm gonna try and make it so like she doesn't see it and then when she takes flowers, she... don't use your left arm, he says. I'm right-handed and I'm using my left arm for more than I thought I would. I'm almost at home and I've started writing an advert on Gumtree. 23 year old male seeking new parents, got a tattoo, mum and dad disowned me. I'm prepared to put this ad up. I know I wasn't allowed to do this, but you've left me with no choice. Oh, I'm terrified. Can I, why are my arms so long? Pull over, damn it. I'm gonna hang a shirt over my arm as if I'm holding a shirt that's not mine and say, this is Lachlan, can you grab it off my arm as I give her the flowers? Seems legit. Look, can you take that? Where are you? Remember about a month ago when I um, came over to get a photo of you holding Magnus Port? Yeah. When you turn that hip pocket. Oh. Cool, the whole reason for me behind it is for seeing you with Max kind of made me guess, I guess, see a little bit of insight as to how you've been as a mum with kids. Because, um, you know, you're a full time carer, and I guess I kind of just see that side of you come out and you're like, you know, I guess it's just a reminder of you as a mum. 
Uh, and I brought up my left off with my hobby. And he put your hand coming out of my hand. And he cracked the dog right. So, oh, wait, oh my God, that's so awesome. So, that's that's, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> She has no idea, I just filmed all of that. Oh, that was awesome. I'm stoked. It looks so good. I'm wrapped. That's sick. Alright guys, so I've just changed my mind about the tattoo and I'm just here trying to wash it off. But it just doesn't want to come off. This stuff's worse than permanent marker. Mum needed to go do some things, so we're going together. And admittedly, I'm low-key shitting myself. The dad, there's still a possibility I may still need to find a new dad. If you know of anyone looking uh, for a son that's uh, mildly behaved and decent, I guess, then I'm up on the market. Whatever. Temporarily. What, you can't just have a mother? You don't need a father? That's true. Mum, independent woman, don't need no man. <laughs> um, so, we're, let's go see what dad thinks. I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to record it. I'll give it a go. What do you reckon, Mum? How do you, let's, let's get your verdict on it. you got about 15 seconds because the camera's... He'll be fine. He'll, He'll be, be fine. fine. Okay. If he's not fine, I'll kick his ass. He'll be fine. Should we add the second? Yeah. Or I'll kick his ass. Yeah. Dad, if you're watching this, Mum said it. She'll kick your ass. I know she will. She's short, but she'll kick your ass. Right, let's go see what Dad thinks of the daddy. What's up? Yeah. 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 I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> This one's for you, Mum. Literally. Rest in peace, Mag. See, I was six years old with a dream. When my mom's told me I could do anything. Said she'd be there forever. No matter what's the weather. She'd always have my back even when we weren't together. What's up, Mum? What's up, Mum? You didn't think I was gonna make a song for you, did you? You think I was gonna get a tat for you, did you, Mum? Hey, hey. <laughs> hey. What do you reckon, Mum? Very good, Josh. Very good, she said. She said it was beautiful. I did, I love it. it. But I just get very paranoid when you have that stupid camera out. Joshua, I will throw you out of the car. 